Smashing YouTube, King Omi Water Gaming coming at you with some Hogwarts Legacy. Now, as you can see, I've done a little bit of grinding on some side quests and stuff. Got some new outfits, you know. Got a new update on the wand. Got that wand handle. Got some new spells. I got the flipping dough spell. And um yeah. Got a lot of new stuff. So Let's get the class. We gotta go to beast class. Wait a minute. Uh huh. See? Almost messed myself up. I've been ready to get back into the main story, so I was doing the side quest as a thing just to keep me interested in playing past just doing the recordings for this. I know I get burned out a little bit recording all these videos. And then all of a sudden I lose interest in playing the game, so I had to take a little break from recording and just play the game for myself. But trust me, if there was anything that you could have possibly missed in the side quest, I would have recorded it. Like there's one that I've uploaded recently where I went to divination class for the very first time, but it wasn't a main quest, so I recorded it anyway. Just so y'all get to see the little interaction and everything. Especially since it was uh, Natty's mom. I don't lock me in. So since it's the first time I'm going to Beast class. And it's actually a part of the main quest. I went ahead and decided to go ahead and record now. Just a tad bit faster. <laughs> and now we take a nap outside. That's how you know I'm a true Ravenclaw. I sleep until it's time for class. Welcome, everyone. I see you've already met some of the many beasts we study in this class. Though be advised, <laughs> none of these creatures should be taken lightly. They are all in their own way dangerous, especially if one does not know how to handle them properly. Now, it seems An many operating. of you are out of practice. That looks like Let's a damn chocobo mixed with a dodo bird. How to care for a beast, shall we? Miss Sweeting, would you please assist our new student with the lesson today? Yes, Professor Howen. Hello, I'm Poppy, Poppy Sweeting. Don't worry about Professor Howen's speech. She over-exaggerates sometimes. <laughs> All the beasts in class are perfectly safe. Oh! Miss Sweeting, <laughs> pay attention, please. The tongue of a puffskin can be a slippery devil. Uh, yes, Professor. <laughs> Here, you can practice on Gerald. He just, just got violated. <laughs> so what's happening here? You can use my brush. Just be gentle. Oh, and think pleasant thoughts. I like to think it in. Oh, I gotta actually. Oh. Hmm. Let's do it there. Experience. Oh. That's lovely. I'm sure he feels much better. I could have did that by hand, but sure. I think he might be hungry. Would you mind giving him some beast feed? What do you suppose the pellets taste like to Gerald? Pudding, I like to think. I think we can safely say that Gerald likes you. <laughs> That's good news. He seems very nice. He is. Kindness Watch is one of his off. best qualities, <laughs> right after ambition and cleanliness. Are you sure Good you not work, mean everyone. you don't mean you? Now, let's make our way to the pens and select another beast. And please, 
Do be careful as you feed and groom them. Miss Sweeting, why don't you show our new student to the measles in the farthest pen? To the what? This way. The measles are over here. What else? What type of cat? Oh, couple of knees or whiskers ought to get me a few canuts at least. Enough to buy something from Honey Jukes. <laughs> really? <sighs> Stupid thing. <sighs> Why? What in Merlin's name are you doing? Tuss, tuss, peculiar poppy. Worried about a worthless little rodent? Her the... name is Persephone. <laughs> Her name is Persephone. Fight me, bro. <laughs> That's really not funny. <sighs> Let's go. Ravenclaw girl, why are you hanging with him? Damn it. Those two don't belong anywhere near this class. Coaches in training. Persephone was on to them instantly. Thank you for your help. Let's carry on. Feed and brush the measles just as you did with Gerald. They know a good egg when they see one. As do I. Don't call me an egg. I'm bald headed in real life. Time has come to an end. Hold up, I got one more to feed. Now, where is our new student? Ah, there you are. I would like a moment, please. A happy bee. Where are the lions? I would like to see a huge Gryffindor lion in this class for once. Hello, Professor. You wanted to speak with me? I did. How did you find your first beast's lesson? It was wonderful. I believe I'm really going to enjoy this class. Good. You seem to understand that when beasts are properly controlled, they can play a vital role in our lives. Some provide us with magically imbued materials, if cared for correctly which does not include torturing them for whiskers. Well done, by the way. Probably best to let me handle it next time. Yes, Professor. They're nearly as bad as the savages in Rookwood's poacher pack. Right. Sadly, what? we're the ones who suffer. Stumbling you made over it seem like I actually did something. I terrible just waste of resources. walked over and said Surely that wasn't the funny, can and then they backed off. They someone. didn't want that problem. The ministry, perhaps. Hmm. An optimistic idea. Now, why don't we focus on more immediate matters that we can control? Professor Weasley has asked that I prepare some assignments designed to help you catch up to the other fifth years. Be on the lookout for my owl. Meanwhile, I also encourage you to study as many beasts as you can on your own time. I most definitely will. Hey! Over here, come on. What? Hold on, text message. <gasps> oh, excuse me. Poppy, what you want? Did you need something, Poppy? Thank you again for saying something to those brutes so that I didn't have to. You were an augury at noon in the desert. I certainly hope that's a good thing. It's something my <laughs> gran and I say. It means that something or someone is a welcome surprise. At least that's what we decided it meant. I'm about to I say, because he's in an augury, harm, like thing. a foreteller of death, bird Actually, or something. In light of that, there's someone I'd like you to meet <clears throat> in the forest. Oh, Lord. You've intrigued me. Very well, lead the way. I'd hoped I would. Oh, okay. Let's go. I wouldn't take just anyone there. 
In fact, you're the first. On a first really? day meeting, you already well, trying to show me something thank new. Thank you. I think, as I said, we think alike. Pleasant surprise. I'm be eating some candy, so don't mind me. Quite the weather we're having, don't you think? Sophie, where are you taking me? It really is much better if I just show you. Don't worry, we're nearly there. It's just ahead. Can we run a bit faster? I know I got the burners. If you can't keep up, then... Nah. Stand back. What in the hell? You over here with a pocket hippogriff of your own? Girl! You my new bestie. Magnificent. Hell yeah. Go on, introduce yourself to her. But be careful. You must always show hippogriffs the proper courtesy before you approach them. Got a bow. There we go. quickly you can feed and brush her if you'd like i come and check on her every once in a while bring her pasties tell her what's going on in the castle <laughs> you wouldn't know from looking at her but she's a dreadful busybody See you later. I saw that so, big ass Cheerio honeybee in front of me. I thought she was brilliant. Can't believe you introduced me to her. I suspected you two might get along. Are you the reason students have been seeing hippogriffs flying above the Forbidden Forest? Hmm, perhaps. Did you know that once you earn a hippogriff's trust, they'll always be there for you? I've seen it firsthand with her. How exactly did you and Highwing cross paths? It's a longer story, but I rescued her from poachers a few years back. Got her to safety and, well, she was fine until recently. You may have noticed that poachers are something of a problem in the area, so I worry they could get her again, and that I might not be there next time. Professor Howen mentioned the poachers as well. She seemed to imply that we couldn't rely on the Ministry to help. I don't often agree with Professor Howen, but on that, I fear she's right. The poacher's influence is growing. I see them every day in the village, lingering, talking to people. They're up to something. I'm just not sure what. That does seem strange. Sounds as if they're planning something. Exactly. I think I'm going to look into it. Find out what's going on. I'm right there with you. What they're doing. I've already saved like two or three. I think that's a fine idea. Information is power. And the more I know, the better I can keep Highwing safe. You seem undeterred. Will you let me know what you find out? Oh, very well. I will. I should be going, but we'll speak again soon, I hope. <laughs> I'm gonna put my... Back. Whoops. All right. Next. Find Lod Lodgok the Goblin. Right. Let's go here. It says I'm gonna need the postal for this mission, so I'm gonna go ahead and set 
this to the hole saw. It's amazing to just fly around Hogwarts. I always forget that. I'd be so eager to get into the damn town. There we go. Does it get any more cozy <clears throat> than Hogsmeade? Hello there. Nice to see you. Hello, Miss Ryan. I wanted to thank you again for your help with Rookwood and Harlow the day of the troll attack. Serona, please. And I was happy to help. Oh, those two are nothing but trouble. Glad you and your friend were here when they found you. I am too. You were speaking to a goblin here that day. Yes, Lord God. He's a friend. It seemed as though you were on good terms with him. I've known him for years. We met when I was waiting tables here as a student, well before I bought the place. He was cordial Damn. enough, but we weren't friends then. His mistrust of wizard kind ran deep. But you're friends now? We are. I hadn't seen him in years when he came in a few months ago. But he recognized me instantly, which is more than I can say for some of my own classmates. It took them a second to realize I was actually a witch, not a wizard. Not all goblins are like Ranrock and his loyalists. Lodgok is as worried as the rest of us about what's been going on. In that case, I'd like to talk with him, about Granrock in particular. Where might I find him? I assume your interest is to do with the rumors I've heard about Ranrock working with our friend Rookwood. It is. If he's not here, you might find him doing business at the Hog's Head. He's a trusted metal trader. You should mention that we spoke. He can, understandably, be wary of witches and wizards. Even ones as young as you. That said, if you're looking for information on Ranrock to help rein him in, you'll find an ally in Lodgok. Yeah. Thank you, Serona. If you find Lord Gog, please give him my best. And I don't know what you've done to make such powerful enemies, but please watch your back. Don't worry about me. I'm in a league of my own right now. Let's get a move on. <clears throat> I'm so sorry. I did not mean to push you like that. outside the castle. You too, Amit. Oh, that's the student. I'm still an apple here. What was that? Chop some. I, I swear, you just eat and drink random shit. Everywhere. No home training, that's what it is. Welcome what? to the Og's Head. Any empty seat is yours. See what I mean? Don't even know what was in there. You just got. I know there ain't no spittoon. Girl, if you drink this spittoon bowl, I swear to God, I will delete the game. Okay. Hello, Lord Gok. Serona said I might find you here. Yes, she did, did she? Did she send you with news? No, actually, I wanted to speak with you. It's about Ranrock. Now I remember the three broomsticks. Day of the troll attack. You're the student he's after. I am, and I need to know what he and his loyalists are up to, so I can stay a step ahead. Let's say I did know. Why should I trust you? Boy, you're smiling. Don't even play me. Serona trusts me, and she said she thought our interests may be aligned. Hmm. Well, if Serona trusts you, very well. 
I may know of something that could help us both. A way to get Ranrock to confide his plans to me. I'm listening. Years ago, a heinous witch stole a sacred goblin relic. Rumor has it that it now rests in her sarcophagus, in a tomb accessible only by wizard kind. Ranrock and I had a, a falling out a while back. The relic could well repair the chasm between us. Very well. I'll retrieve the relic if you promise to share Ranrock's plans with me. We will have to trust each other. I, that you will not abscond with the relic, and you, that I'll share what I learn. Gather whatever supplies you may need and meet me near the witch's tomb. Okay. What do we have here? A demi guys. Where? Where is it? I can't see it. Am I blind? I'm blind. I don't see the demi guys. Where did you see it? The hog's head is disgusting. Stop, stop drinking shit. So she eats the peanuts instead. All right. Let's go. It's daytime anyway. I can't pick it up. No way. I thought this tomb was going to be a little bit further. It's literally right around the corner. How the hell? Oh, that's right. You know what? They can teleport. Good. There's no time to lose. What precisely is the relic I'm to retrieve? A valuable heirloom known as the Helmet of Erdgott. The witch considered herself a collector and purchased the helmet as a trinket. She cared not what pain she caused the goblins. Goblins believe that the rightful owner of any object is its maker, not its purchaser. Wizard kind sees things differently. It's a wonder goblins and wizards have ever been able to work together. The differences between our kinds are myriad. They seem to be. It may surprise you to know that I do not believe those differences always to be insurmountable. It is the reason I find myself traveling with you to this tomb today. There's enemies to my left. And there it is, the witch's tomb. Oh, dreadful looking place, isn't it? It's a tomb. What you expect I to look like. I wish you luck like retrieving the helmet. As a wand carrier, you should have an advantage. Now, before you set off, do you have any questions? What about this helmet makes it so special? The helmet of Ertgott is an ancient and storied relic, forged during a time of unity among the goblin clans. It inspired greatness, that is, until it was no longer ours. Then it became something else. A symbol of what has been lost, of all that wizard kind has taken from us. Reclaiming it would mean a great deal to goblin kind and to Ranrock. He would be grateful to me should I return it. Okay. It seems Ranrock and Rookwood are conspiring. Why would that be? I had heard this. When the dark-hearted conspire, they seldom make their full intentions clear to one another. I can only speculate, but I imagine their alliance is uneasy and quite fragile. Let us hope that ours is less so. I don't suppose you have any idea what could be waiting for me inside the tomb? Considering a dark witch was involved, I suppose there's a chance you may encounter the dark protectors. Known as Inferi. The foul creatures thrive on darkness and the cold. Vanquish them. Is that the things Dumbledore fought in that damn tomb and half blood prince? 
It all seems clear to me now that we're here. I do hope our alliance proves fruitful. Again, I wish you luck. I will remain here, eagerly awaiting your return. <coughs> Please, be... Oh, stop talking, bro. I'm getting in there. I got it. We've seen way more impressive things. Relax. Hang on, sorry. Text message. <laughs> oh, that's great. Whoops. I'm not alone here. Don't say stuff like that. Make me nervous. What the hell? Oh, it's them. Those exactly. Must be struck with fire spells to make them vulnerable to other attacks. Oh, no. Nope. Danger of the dead. Hold up, I gotta set me some fire. I am nope. Mm -mm. You ain't about to catch me like that. Uh, Inferno. That's where the has gotta go right now. And then instead of glaciers, let's get the pulse hole here. Push them back if they get too close to me. Matter of fact, nope, flipping though. Keep them in midair for a little bit. I thought I could set that on fire. Revelio. If I could power 
turret somehow. It looks like it could be rotated. Oh! Parkour! Parkour! Lumos. I figured it out on accident. Text message. I'm sorry. Uh. Okay. What's Don't. that hanging there? Looks precarious. Maybe not. Down I go. No other way. Um. Not what I want it. There we go. Another one I just got. Very, very useful. <laughs> oh! <laughs> she tried to go into a cannonball form at the last second. That's hilarious. Keep an enemy airborne for 10 seconds. Oh my god! <sighs> Hold that for me. Not immune to my ancient magic. Pick up y'all stank. Oh, behind me. That'd be cool if I could learn Sep Septum Sempra. Took up y'all stench. Nice. Oh, let's go. More stench. Hey, a little bit 22. Yeah, I I've jumped since the last time I played on camera. Because I was like, like 18 or 17 when I was last playing. Rebellion. The last two were above me. Okay. This looks even more complex. Come on, you can do it. Even though I feel like I should be able to just use my broom, but no. No. Lumos. What the hell? Lumos. Can't be Leviosa. 
Oh my lord. That messed me up completely. Damn it. Making this spin ought to raise that platform. That must be it. Oh my lord, I already figured that out. It's just the fact I keep using the damn bug. Lumos. Why? Why was that raising? Lumos. Come on. You raising for? Third one at Oh, you're right behind me. Wait a minute. I need to bring moths to the door. I'm, I'm well aware. This rises. For what reason, though? What do I gain from raising this? I'm missing something here. So you I think I just gotta be fast. Nope, I can't climb and hold it at the same time.
a lot more stench. So wait a minute. Okay, you rise for a reason, correct? Is there a reason for your rising abilities? bit easier. The pulse all the rest of the loss. Why in the hell? Fusion here. There was another one this whole damn time. I hate my life. New predicament. How am I gonna get it over there fast enough? I'm smart sometimes. What? What the hell? How the hell did you? How did you do that? Hey, explain, how the hell did you get back over here? Okay, I'm low-key a little bit better. I got both now.
All right, I'm going to stop here so I'm not wasting video time, and then I'm just going to restart over. Y'all, I am so dumb. I am so damn dumb. I figured it out. I hella figured it out. So the problem was, I knew there was a reason for this platform to exist. It's for that. So I can come over here my damn self. I'm so damn stupid. The witch's final resting place. Lord and this was the last area too. And I love that I figured it out as soon as I cut the last video off. Compatriots must have made off with the helmet. Lodgok won't like this. Better show this to Lodgok. There must be some sort of mechanism for this doorway. Rebellion. Fuck this tomb, man. Eh? Lodcock, the sarcophagus has been raided. I found no helmet. Only a dead Ashwinder. Damn! They got here first! We need to get it before Rookwood uses it to further ingratiate himself to Ranrock. I saw one of their campsites not far from here, but I fear you must go in alone. My fighting days are behind me. I'll head there now. Good. There's no time to lose. Get to that helmet before Rookwood does, or we will lose our chance at any leverage, no matter how small, with Ranrock. To think those wretched thieves have their hands on such a relic. Don't worry, I'll get it. Revelia. You've made a great mistake. Huh? You will pay for your deed. Hmm. You're fighting a troll. You've made a mistake. Expulsion! There they are. The Ashwine. Expulsion! Now, this has become personal. You'll die for that. Y'all talking a lot of crap for somebody who's losing. Surprise! That's how you meet a troll, you guys. I literally let him clean house. If I could just smooth my way through here. Revelio. That's it. What? This is for Rookwood. What's that? Yeah. Oops. I'm not done with you. I'm done with you. Hmm. 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 Confirm you got. I missed. Stupefy. The pulse up. Heads up. And no one to share in my victory. Rather dark in there. Never stopped me before.
I retrieved the helmet from the Ashwinders. Well done. This is sure to impress Ranrock. The helmet shines even more brightly than I imagined. The etchings, the contour of the profile, remarkable. It looks stunning, Lord Gok. I see why you wanted it back. You did the thieves a service by recovering it. I know many a goblin who would have killed for it. Ah, huh, then I'm glad to be rid of it myself. Thank you. <laughs> this should earn Ranrock's trust. I will take it to him immediately. It may distract him from his search. His search? It, uh, it is merely an inkling. You have impressed me greatly, friend. I am glad that I trusted you. We shall speak soon. Best to keep our arrangement quiet for now. Many will not believe that our aims might possibly be aligned. Hello, friend. I wonder if you might stop by the three broomsticks when you can. I would like your help with something. As I mentioned, my sister Anne misses Hogwarts, and she hasn't been herself lately. I'd like to take you up on your promise to visit her with me. I'm heading to Feldcroft soon, so I'll look forward to seeing you there. It's just south of Hogwarts. By the way, I hope you're faring well with the blast in curse. It's still one of my favorites. Now that you've attended Beast's class, I've asked Deke to assist you in using the room to further your studies in that regard. Please meet him there when you can. I've not heard from my Uncle Roland in quite some time. I've been beside myself with worry. Could you meet me in the courtyard? Adelaide Rhodes? I don't remember you really. To be 100% honest, I don't remember who you are. But I'll get to you eventually. I'm gonna do this one out here. This is the furthest from me. Rebellion. Room three. Okay, I thought that was Azkaban for a minute. I'm like, what the hell? I know it's out in the middle of the ocean. Shut up. Unavailable, my ass. You made it. I've been sleeping here until you got here. Enjoying the view? Keeping an eye on things. Feldcroft isn't what it used to be. 
No one has felt safe here since Ranrock's loyalists took a peculiar interest in that castle over there. Rookwood Castle. My uncle Solomon is a former Aura and refuses to look into it, even after Anne was cursed by one of them. Possibly with a wand, no less. I heard a goblin refer to wizard kind as wand carriers. Are goblins forbidden from carrying wands? Precisely. That's why I'm on the hunt for answers. If I'm to cure her, I need to understand what happened to her. Anne was always the most mischievous of the three of us. Which is saying something, knowing me and Ominous. I'm hoping a surprise visit from me and a new friend from Hogwarts will help lift her spirits. Bring back the Anne I used to know. Come on, I'll take you to my uncle's. She don't need a lift in spirits, she need a lift in this curses. In the shadow of the estate. Feldcroft used to be a lot livelier. I'm gonna need you to run a little bit With faster. Ranrock's lot wandering about all the time. burning you just Everyone now. Everyone stays out of sight. Here we oh, are. This is your house. My sister should be just inside. Let me go in. Kicking this door like SWAT. Aha! Sebastian, where did you... Is that... What I think it is. We've been over this, boy. Hey. Shrivel figs cannot reverse a curse. Nothing can. The that sooner is... you accept that reality, the better. But we haven't tried everything. There is no cure. Fight me, bro. When will you accept that? Never. I can never accept it. Now look what you've done. Me? I'm sorry. Lee. She was happy to see you. You're the one who caused all the drama. All right, bro. I'm sorry you had to see that. If you don't mind, I just need a moment alone. Poor Sebastian. Not the visit he'd hoped for. I'm sorry about earlier. Those bouts of pain are difficult to bear. Are you all right, Anne? I didn't mean to intrude. You didn't, truly. <sighs> and I'm all right. The pain from this curse comes in bouts, and often suddenly. It's not anyone's fault. It's nice to meet you, by the way. You must be the new fifth year Sebastian told me about. I am. Sebastian and I met during a rather lively duel in defense against the dark arts. Oh dear, Professor Hecate. She's a powerful witch. And she knows how to keep students like my brother, and me, in line. I do miss Hogwarts, but I wouldn't mind being in Feldcroft, really, if it wasn't so dreary now. Between the goblins at the castle and my uncle fighting with Sebastian whenever he's home, it's not the cozy retreat it once was. Sebastian mentioned something about your uncle being an ex-Aura, but refusing to go after Ranrock's loyalists. I must say, I wasn't prepared for him to be as angry as he was. Uncle Solomon is frustrated by what happened to me and by Sebastian for thinking he can fix it. They both mean well, I know they do, but my uncle is right. This curse cannot be undone. I can feel it. Sebastian cannot take away my pain. Perhaps you can help him to understand that. I'll do my best. I can promise to speak with him about it. Thank you. His search for a cure is futile, I'm afraid. I'm getting tired. I should probably rest. Thank you for stopping by. I wish you well. This is my potion kit, not yours. Leave my things be. Yep. Here I am. Hogwarts isn't the same without you. Well, Sharp is still as foul, but you know what I mean. I hope you're feeling better. Where the hell is Solomon? Outside? That boy will fray my last nerve. Smack my bitch up! <laughs> okay. Excuse me, Mr. Sallow. Oh, yes. Sebastian's friend. I apologize on behalf of my nephew. He doesn't know when to stop. I was about to check on Anne. Did I see you come from the house? How is she? She's all right. She said she was going to rest. Nothing can be done for her. 
I'm so sorry. I understand you've tried everyone from Nurse Blaney to St. Mungo's to no avail. We have. My nephew thinks he knows better than the healers. Perhaps the healers don't know everything, sir. Sebastian is single-mindedly focused on finding a way to help his sister. If there is a cure, he will find it. Your faith in Sebastian is misplaced. Some sort of dark magic cursed Anne. And the goblins aren't likely to explain themselves any time soon. Well, giving her hope. If you get your hands dirty. The only thing to do yeah. now is keep Anne comfortable and stay out of the loyalists' way. Bro, you want that defeatist attitude? Where's Where's Mad Eye Moody, bro? I bet you he gets some answers. With all due respect, sir, hope could keep Anne's spirits up. You may mean well, but I know what's best for Anne and Sebastian. They are my stubborn brother's children, especially Sebastian. If you really want to be of help, you'll make sure Sebastian does what he should do, not what he wants to do. He's no idea the harm he could do if he doesn't stop. And what harm can he do? I hope you remember what I've said to okay. her. I ought to see how Sebastian's faring. Why will he not listen to me? She's my sister. How are you doing, Sebastian? You got a first-hand glance of what I'm dealing with. I apologize for my uncle. I'll admit I wasn't expecting him to be so angry. He's always angry. He's been angry since my parents died. After Anne was hurt, he only grew worse. It's as though he blames me somehow, always calling me my father's son, as if that's an insult. I'm the one trying to help her. He's simply given up. Both Anne and your uncle seem genuinely convinced that nothing more can be done for her. I refuse to believe that. Anne's pain is more than physical. It has changed her entirely. I miss my sister. And I'm going to get her back. Come with me. I need to show you where it happened. I'm down. Ragnarok's loyalists are capable of so much more than people realize. They should not Did be you underestimated. Go? I say follow you and then don't move. Can't stand that. All the debris you'll see is from whatever's going on at that abandoned estate. They've been digging for something. <sighs> Up there, on that plateau, is where they cursed Anne. This way. How much longer are we expected to dig through this rubble? Ramrock knows what he's doing. It's an honor to be a part of See me. Flip in there. Scary on us. Surprise! Super five. Fringo. You've made your last mistake. You made a mistake landing in front of me. You know your booty hot. You came here with that big entrance and got bodied. Within the Flipenda. Defender. Kafrinda. Flipenda. Woo, you tried it. Flipenda. Two throws this time. I tried to warn you. I'm good. I, I need to practice. I enjoy all the battles. Hell, I, I was hoping there'd be more. Those loyalists deserved what they got. Couldn't agree more. 
This is where it happened. We smelled smoke in the middle of the night. When we looked outside, flames were shooting from the estate. Before my uncle and I could stop her, Anne rushed out, racing towards the fire, worried someone would be hurt. She came face to face with a horde of goblins, frantically trying to stamp out the flames. Suddenly, an icy voice drifted out from somewhere in the smoke. Children should be seen and not heard. A blinding blast followed. They didn't even give her a chance to run. It seems an awfully violent response to a child wandering by. What were they trying to hide? My thoughts exactly. <clears throat> it may be grasping at Billywigs, but I keep thinking that there might be something here that could lead me to whoever cursed Anne. Might be the only way to learn what type of magic harmed her, which could help me find a cure. Perhaps you're right. The loyalists are everywhere, but they do seem to be spending a lot of time here, and it's likely they're hiding something. And at Rookwood Castle. Shall we have a look around? Oh, uh, hell yeah. They In the next video. They camp here for a specific reason. They have stations for everything. Don't forget to descend upon that like button like the angels you are, and I'll see you in the next one.